All right, so welcome back. So if you guys already haven't uh, watched my first video, I made a video about my 2001 Haunt of Shadow 1100. Uh, all I did was take the plugs out and checked over things. If you want to go check that out, I'll leave a link right here. It's the bike that I worked on. Uh, this video, it's going to be a lot more objective focused. Last video was kind of just like record and see what happens. Uh, a lot of you liked it, so I'm going to make a second one. So in this video, we're going to work on a 1965 Chevy El Camino. It's got a 283 that was given to me by a coworker. He said that he's not going to do anything with it, and he, he couldn't really uh, charge me for it because he didn't want to. My goal for this video is to get the tires off of it because two of them are leaking, figure out where it's leaking from. I'm going to load it up, take it to school, maybe sandblast them and grind the wheels down, put some bead sealer around the wheel. Help it seal a little bit better. Two of four are sealed and they keep the tires up. I need all four to stay inflated. So that's what I'm going to work on in this video. So please enjoy. So first things first, we're going to air up this tire. And then we're going to move on to this back tire. We'll take some soapy water and spray it around the wheel and see if it's leaking around the bead. So if it is, I can fix it pretty easily. And same thing for that rear. All right, so now I'm going to hair up these tires real quick. We don't have to get them like super inflated, just around like 35, 40-ish. I think we got a leak right there. Yeah. So it's leaking all around this bead. So the tire could be, like, could have some holes in it, but I know for a fact that the bead needs to be addressed. Probably hit it with a hammer as well. I don't know how many hits I can get on that wheel before it's just gonna go through the wheel. Because, man, I've seen better days for sure. Where did my. I lost my uh, pressure gauge. Where did I put that thing? It feels about 35. -ish. This thing looks so cool. I can't wait to drive this. But yeah, it sat in the backyard for 20 years. I don't know if you can see the hood. I'll show you in a minute, but the hood's got a bunch of holes in it from trees dropping their little leaves and stuff and then it just eats through the hood and then once I ate through the hood left holes for it to go through get in the carburetor so water just went straight through the engine for 20 years or the good part of 20 years at least so it's got a good bit of rust I picked up this job because I mean it's gonna be a good learning opportunity I can do some body work body's not actually that bad like it's bad but for what it is it's actually pretty good but the engine was locked up couldn't turn it over by hand so I let it soak took the plugs out of it I let it soak some PB blaster for about two weeks come back two weeks later and then you think I know I could turn it over by hand and then after that I diagnosed the starter the starter was bad and then after that I got a starter for it spray some starting fluid on it and actually Parked off a little. I still got a lot of stuff to do, but I'm going to jack it up before it sinks back down again. Get these tires off.
Uh, so unfortunately, um, the main segment of me actually taking the wheels off of the El Camino, it did get corrupted. I couldn't process it no matter how many times I tried. I tried all night yesterday, so you got to skip on that. I will take off the ones on the passenger side, so you'll be able to see that still. All right, so I got those two tires off. I'm only going to do it at a time because with this hill, I really don't want to risk the El Camino falling. Uh, it's very possible. I even rejacked it up and put a wood board down, help it from sinking. I'm not going to be too long. It's just going to be today, but just in case. And then, all right, now I'm going to load up those tires. All right, so welcome back. Um, I did get the bead cleaned up on these wheels. This one, I got a little carried away and I actually just sandblasted the whole thing. So I might paint that one. Now for the other one, it's kind of just toast. I mean, it's not really worth saving at this point. So I don't waste too much time on that. I just cleaned the bead. I ran like a little test spots. Like you couldn't even tell, but I, I sandblasted right there with that rust was but it didn't do anything sandblast a little in here it did clean up in, on the inside but it's still not worth saving it only leaked in one spot let's see if i can see if it's still leaking yeah it's still extremely slowly leaking i mean like really slow and this is literally just to roll around in the yard once it is running let me get the air compressor turned on and then we'll, we'll uh, put these wheels back on. save it a little bit from that rust that's pretty good so while that's drying i'm going to go ahead and put this front wheel on All right, that's at full ride height on the ground. It looks so crazy. It looks so much different now. Right, so now we're gonna work on this other side. Probably get that lawnmower out the way. Thank you. 
All right, well, I'll be honest. I didn't do the back side. Mainly because I couldn't see that, like, maybe a couple centimeters from my face while I was sandblasting. I did get the front. I'll show you that in a second. But I'll go ahead and spray paint these. All right. This side looks really good. It doesn't look as good as that first wheel I did, but it does look good. flats. That's what the original ride hut is supposed to be. Yeah, it's not supposed to look pretty. It's just supposed to work. Alright, time to put these tools up. So the end of this video, um, let me know what you think. I had fun doing this, so if you see something I can improve on, just let me know in the comments. I'll make sure I'll reply to everybody's comments. So next video is gonna be me working on the El Camino again. I'm gonna be trying to figure out the fuel situation from the fuel tank, um, possibly even get it to idle. So if you wanna stay tuned for that, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll let you know if any type of updates come out. If you hit the bell, it'll also let you know when I post a new video. Uh, I'm trying to post one at least once a week. It's a lot harder than I thought it was. Yeah, let me know what I can improve on. And for now, I'll see you next video.